we had a, a very full day of uh, sales yesterday, starting at half past uh, 12. Uh, going through to 8 o'clock at night and uh, the first sales we did were the Angus they were up to 10,000 uh, the Angus trade uh, at the top end uh, was was went well uh, but uh, the trade was selective and bulls uh, there was one two bulls that had difficulty uh, you know with locomotion and they certainly didn't uh, sell they, they, they were largely unsold but uh, the top the top end of the bulls sold well as I said up to 10,000 the highlight in the Angus females was uh, in fact a heifer making 24,000 from the Robin herd, uh, so uh, with a, a massive show of uh, Angus females in addition to bulls, uh, about a hundred head, and uh, they in, in general sold sold well. The shot horns um, and don't have such a big show of bulls in October. They had about 21 bulls, and uh, they sold the top of them so again. Selective trade, the top sold well. And uh, the females were particularly uh, uh, sold well with almost 90 of them and they were up to 13,000 which is a new breed record so that was really exciting. They had done, uh, the biggers uh, from Castle Douglas got 13,000 for them. And then the afternoon or the evening sale uh, was of limousine and we had a very very good sale of limousines up, up to 14,000. Lots of good crossing bulls making 10 to 12,000 which was really encouraging and again uh, some a, a good percentage uh, sold but a selective market so really the first day you would say selective market plenty of interest in the top end and if there's any ifs or buts uh, about the bulls then just not quite so much interest and I mean that reflects you know the fact that uh, the autumn calving herd is reducing a bit in number and uh, there are quite a lot of issues in the industry so uh, there's not a lot of spare cash so the cattle have got to be right before people go on them.